afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I just wanted to say that we have a wonderful training today, and I want to introduce our guest speaker, which is going to be um, our leader and mentor. He is the greatest, in my book, the greatest uh, brand partner that I have. Um, I live with him 24 hours, like David lives with his, and he's a great example. He's helped many of us, um, countless hours of every day that he gives himself. He's a pastor, he's a senior director in our business, and let's introduce Ed Malad. Hey guys, uh, great to be here. Thank you. Thank you for the silent applauses. I appreciate you guys. Uh, today, we're going to do a very exciting meeting uh, and training. It's called triple D and one, two, three. That is our system, guys. And that system, uh, I work very hard and, and diligent with uh, Brother Lorenzo to create this system that's going to help us um, to really be able to share with our new partners and our new uh, brand partners so that they can grow with this business. They can understand concepts that may not be as easy, but once we break it down, you're going to see that it's very, very easy uh, to learn and understand. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And um, I want to uh, welcome you guys as you're coming in. We're going to silent you, but at the end of the presentation, we're going to open up the mic. So if you guys have any questions, just want to let you know there's never a dumb question. Never. There's always stupid answers. All right. So <laughs> the ball's in my yard and, and my court, and I'll be able to try to help you as much as I can. If I don't know an answer to a question that you may have, um, I'll make sure that I'll get an answer for you right away. So again, welcome. Uh, this is the Patch the Way team, and our system is called Triple D and One, Two, Three. So let's get started. So to start with the Triple D um, system, is a system that has been used by uh, Brother Lorenzo uh, many, many years. And he's taught this to us before. Uh, we narrowed it down uh, before the, the presentation that he taught was like about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Uh, my quest was to make this, um, this presentation in less than an hour. So here are the three Ds of building our business. One of it is to develop our business. And how do you develop? How do you connect? Uh, developing a business. First, we have to connect. And previously on our leadership meeting, we were talking about beliefs and convictions and how, how, how strong we have to keep our beliefs so that um, they, be, they become convictions, right? Because a, a belief can be changed, but the conviction is more of a concrete thing. So we have to build them. We have to develop that in our system, in our in, in our business, right? And so by developing, this is kind of like stages, right? So one, two, three, uh, one, two, three is one of the stages and the, the triple D is another stage. So the triple D, D stands for developing, right? When I ask you to make your list and, and, and why it's so important to make a list, I'm going to share with you something that happened uh, without giving names and or anybody knowing what's happening, one of our um, distributors uh, near and dear to us uh, gave us a, a a call the other day and told us that uh, she that he felt he or she felt so bad about what happened. I said, "What happened?" He said, "Well, I I put this particular person in the list and um, I gave her a call to come to find out that she is already a distributor." And I and and we were like, "Wow." So what happened with that list? That list was developed, but it hasn't been used, right? So just like the patches, we put our patches on. They don't work until you put them on, right? Just like the list, we it doesn't work until you go to work on that list. So by developing and making that list, we need to start um, going and, and prospecting and, and, and talking to the sharing with those people about your technology. Don't be afraid of anybody coming to sue you. Don't be afraid of anybody saying anything to you about your business because this is your business. This is your bread and butter. This is what brings food to your to your um, to your kids' table. So um, be strong about this. Be have strong convictions. Let's make that list. And we talked a little bit about making that list before having uh, twenty people to be personal people that you love, people that you respect, people that you care, people that you know will help you with this business, always go up, right? Always 
prospect, I wouldn't say prospect, but share this technology with people that you know that are better than you. And, and there's importance because of that, because if you try to get somebody, uh, and, and I'm going to say it, right? Um, it happens. You want to help everybody in the world. And, and we've been in that situation where where we try to help people that don't have money because we know that they can make money with this. But if in their heart and their and their beliefs and their conviction is is to be uh, to live in property and poverty, you won't change them, right? So uh, always try to go to people that are, are strong and 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 want to do something with their bodies in terms of health, with their uh, economy, in terms of their finances, and those that want to share these technologies with others. So those are the people that you want to look for. And we also have another list of 20 people that you want to help. So see, there is a balance, right? So we're I'm a pastor, and, and, and Vicky and I, we, we care for people so much in our church. And most of the times, we do things as a philanthropy, right? As giving to people. And I'm not saying don't give this. This is totally your prerogative. You can share, you can you can give your products. Uh, I, I was doing a, a, a presentation over the phone uh, with my mom and Miss Kim the other day, and they were um, they were doing uh, uh, some patching and the, the patching that one, the Eon and the Iceway wasn't working. And what we had to find out too, is when we're sharing and developing with with people, we have to find out what their needs are, right? So kind of like when a, when you go to a doctor's office, they make you answer this ten page questionnaire that you think that it's never going to end. I mean, they ask you what your dog's name is and all the social security number, and they ask you a lot of questions. And then why they ask you all these questions is so that they can find out what is that um what is that that is happening with you right so uh vicky said yes leverage our team leverage our our um what we're doing with one another if you don't have uh an answer or something is not working we're by a phone call away you know or 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 you're uh, the person that brought you you can call them and they can help you in that situation so so what happened was that i had i asked them i said uh, Mr. Charles, what's going on with you? Tell me a little bit about you. And then he started opening up, telling me that he had um, been diagnosed with sciatica. And sciatica nerve pain is very difficult to do, but it's never impossible. So I said, well, let me tell you something about sciatica, Mr. Charles. I said, normally we just give one patch for you to try to see if this works, but sciatica takes a lot longer to help. So we, it's going to require about $40, $50 to do this test for you. Are you prepared to pay? He said, absolutely. And so what, what we were doing is we're developing a customer, letting them know what it takes to for this uh, products to work, right? Most of the times it's just a little bit of water and a patch and you're good to go. But when you get to those customers and those clients and those friends that are a little bit more difficult to do, you have to bring, you have to ask questions, right? Are they taking medications? Are they, um, you know, have they been diagnosed with something particular? Now, what we don't treat is we don't treat diagnosis. We don't treat diseases. We treat the symptoms, right? So if somebody says to me, I have arthritis, I know that I'm not going to uh, try to remove the arthritis from that person. But what I'm going to develop with them is I'm going to get to them to their sy symptoms, right? And what is a symptom of uh, arthritis is pain that we can do. So part of developing this, developing your business, developing your people, developing everything is, you know, uh, helping people so that you can help. Uh, they'll help you with knowledge so you can help them, right? And ultimately you want to strengthen your knowledge. And how are you doing that? By being in the call like this. That's how we strengthen our knowledge. That's how we get to be better so that we can be better for other people. Amen. And finally, we want to master demoing. We want to master how it is that we do this demoing. And luckily, and thank God, we're going to be able to show you how to do that today. And, uh, and through this uh, lines or uh, groups of uh, of meetings and videos that we're going to be making for you, this is going to help you along that way. The second part of the, the, the triple D is demonstrate. Okay. So the formula for making big checks and, and, and life wave is very simple. 
It could be very simple, but we can make it very complicated. So all in all, we want to make this to so be as simplistic as possible for you so that you can then duplicate it, right? And that's another uh, one of the Ds that are coming on. But if you look at this formulation, it's very simple. More demoing, more money, right? More plus D equals plus money sign, right? So we're here as a business, we're also doing it to help people. But I want you to know, uh, there was a very touching story that Susanna uh, at the convention did. And for those that were there, um, she really touched everybody's heart. Um, her thing, and, and it was, it's so lovely to see in a company so big like this, that people are not afraid of their faith, right? And she said that she heard from the Lord uh, that told her that, she needed that she, he was going to lift her up so that she can lift his name. And that was so touching to us uh, because she demonstrates this technology to many, many people. And the more you demonstrate, the more you patch people, it doesn't matter where you are. You can be in a, in a grocery store, you can be in a pet shop, or you can be a, a, at a pet store. The other day, Vicky and I, we went to um, get some treatment and get some food for our dog. And there was a lovely lady who we wanted to help. And so we started talking about the technology. So simple, right? Um, don't complicate it. Don't, don't try to say, oh, you know, there's nanotechnology particles that burn away in 12 hours. Even though that information is good, there's a time for it. So be balanced about it. You know, don't, don't go about it too difficult because always think about what people are looking what you're doing and they're internally seeing, can I do this? All right. Can I, can I really, do I have the mind? Do I have the time? Do, can I develop that knowledge to do this? And if you keep it simple, then they'll think, oh, this is simple. I can do this. Right. So I can learn to demonstrate and we'll help you um, to teach you how to demonstrate through this um, calls that we're doing in, in, in the, uh, the testimonial times that we're doing on Thursday um, time will help you uh, to physically learn how to patch. So never think that you are so far or, or not so distant from us that we can't help you. We're always here to help you. The third part is duplicate. And duplicating is also very simple, and very easy. So you have to be, set the example to take action based on your own statistics. Now, what does that mean? It means that the more that you're duplicating everything that you're doing, like, for instance, next week, we're going to go to do a, a, a live demonstration. And I asked the lady that was there that we're going to do the demonstration for, what do you need? Right. So she said, well, I got this. I said, great. We have a TV. Awesome. Uh, and, and she said, well, what if my TV is too old and we can't do it? I said, we have it. We, we'll have a, um, a projector. But I said, I don't want to bring it because I want people to feel like they can do it. So can you find out if you have an HDMI cable on it? She said, absolutely. So right there, we we're able to duplicate that because it's simple. Everybody has a TV, right? And even if she didn't have a TV, it's okay. We'll make ways to be able to have, because we don't spend all our time on, on the TV. We do that already. Um, so by duplicating, we want you to know that, um, that it, it's simple. Don't try to make it difficult because the more difficult you make it, the harder it's going to be for you to bring other people into this business, right? So now I'm going to move and we're moving really quick, right? We're 20 minutes in or 15 minutes in. Uh, we have the system called the one, two, three. Remember, our whole system is triple D and one, two, three, right? So what is one, two, three? We've learned and we heard about it. If you guys were in a, a leadership meeting last week, you heard about um, our one, two, three, how simple it is. And you might say, well, Ed, and I, and, and I raised this question to uh, Brother Lorenzo. I said, even though we want to make the business simple, the business is not simple, right? Uh, had to find out, ha had to fill a, 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 an application. It, it might be simple, but if somebody doesn't know how to do it, they might need some coaching right? It might not be simple to place an order, but with a little uh, few minute video or a little coaching, they can, they'll be able to do that. So the same, this system goes along with, with, with what we've been talking about all this time is one, two, three. What is one, two, three? See, we've been given um, this incredible 
list of protocols. And we can say, well, just not even a few minutes ago, somebody was asking for a neuropathy protocol. Um, and our answer has to always be similar, right? Doesn't always have to be the same, but if we can make it so that our team gets, the, finally gets in that, like I've heard sometimes that you have to hear something seven different times from seven different people at uh, seven different ways, right? Well, I hope that this is the seventh time, guys, because our, our system is so simple. Doctors are using it right now. I know Dr. Caroline and Dr. Christine, they they press this every time a customer or a client comes, they, um, because they're also nutritionists, um, they know the power of detoxing. They know that if somebody has a chronic disease or something that is not as simple as just a migraine headache, uh, they need to detox their body off of that. And how do we do that? We do it first with step one and step one, we call it, um, let me put that down here. We call it the severe symptoms protocol right? Very simple. One, two, three. So how do we do that? We have for five days, look at this. Um, I'm going to bring uh, annotate. Okay, with a spotlight. Okay, so you see that we have here a five-day program, right? So in five days, we're going to tell people to be able to use energy enhancer in this five different places for one day, one entire day. So we're going to apply all these patches every single day for five days. You may say, well, there is a lot. It is. But what this is doing, guys, this is opening up our gates, is opening up the meridians. If there's stagnant energy that can't flow, it is going to open up with this, okay? Dr. Christine and Dr. Caroline tell us all the time, especially Dr. Christine, because she's an acupuncturist, she can open up everybody that comes to her office before she even patches them. She does acupressure and acupressure ac acupuncture and opens the meridians. But see, we, we're not we're not doctors, right? So we don't have those needles. We don't have that knowledge that Dr. Christine and Dr. Caroline has, but we have something better, right? Which is the patches. The patches are incredible. When you do these five day, five energy enhancers in, in one day and for five day period of time, you're going to open up all your channels. You're going to open up all your four gates. And what does four gates mean? See, in our body, we have seven different um, energy, it's called energy centers, right? Um, some religions, they call it chakras. Uh, for, for our studies, we're going to call them energy centers. And those energy centers might not be aligned. And so when you put a patch on somebody, they'll be like, nope, I don't feel anything. You put another patch, you put the EM, nope, I don't feel anything. And you start putting $30, $40, $50 worth of patches, and they're like, nope, nothing's happening. Why nothing's happening is because there's a blockage of energy and they need this severe symptom protocol. Now, you may say, well, this is, I don't have a customer that has a chronic disease. That's okay. We'll move on to step two. But I'm going to, I'm just walking with you to this step one because I think it's critical to understand it. Uh, once you do step one, you don't need to always do it. It's, you always do it on people that are that that have chronic diseases, right? Um, we also use the glutathione. We're going to put two glutathions for that those five days. Um, for each day, you're going to use a glutathione on your belly, and you're going to use a glutathione on your coccyx bone, right? And then you're going to use one X39, and this is during the daytime. You're going to use one carnosine right in the middle of your chest, and you're going to use another um, eon or, or use an eon on the back of your head. Notice that I'm not calling GV14, SP6, ST36, L liver one, liver seven. I'm not saying all that. The reason why I don't want to say it in the beginning is because it confuses people. It's not duplicatable. How many of you guys, raise your hand, have called Brother Roy or somebody else and they're giving you a, a, a protocol over the phone and they say, yeah, put um, put uh, glutathione on GV14 or CV22. And you're like, what? What is that? 
you see, you you can't read that. You you have to be learned a little bit. You have to be developed a little bit in order to understand that. So just point them out. You're going to put one right here in the bottom of your neck. You're going to put it right here in the middle of your chest, right in the center of your of your chest. You can put another one in the back of the vertebrae that you when you bend your head down, you're going to put that one there. So that's all during the daytime. At nighttime, you're going to present this. You're going to do um, Eon on the top of your head, on your third eye, right? And you're going to do Silent Night on the bottom of your foot, on your right foot. Now, this is daytime. No, this is nighttime. And you take the patches off, and this is nighttime, oh, nighttime, right? And you take the patches off when you come to the next day. You're going to do this for five days. And if you read this, it's very simple. It says, this five-day program is designed to open up all the channels and meridians in one day, and it helps start cleansing Ooh. and regeneration process. Step number one, in the morning at eight o'clock, for instance, somebody might, might want to put them more earlier, somebody might want to put them a little bit later, but this is just an example. Start by applying five sets of energy enhancer in five days, also glutathione on your belly and, uh, and eon, uh, glutathione in two parts, right? In the belly and in the, in the coccyx bone, eon on uh, the back of your neck and the carnosine right in the center of your chest. And you got to drink a lot of water, right? Most people are going to say, oh, I drink a lot of water. Don't, I don't need it. Trust me. Trust me. You have to see them drink the water in front of you. If they refuse to drink water in front of you, guess what? More than likely, it's been hours since they drank water. At that time, I'm going to take time to drink a little bit of water. So if our body resists, continue for five more days. Otherwise, remove the patches, wait a few hours, and continue again. Now, the reason why it tells somebody asked me this, what does this mean if your body resists? What happens if you get over dizzy, right? If you get migraine headaches because you're doing this, is because the energy is so strong that it might be too shocking of the body. So it says, remove the patches, wait a few hours, and put them on again. We have a client that Mary is a, a really good uh, friend of Mary's. Um, we I put one patch on him. I put the E on, and it said that it caused him to have so much stress in his body. And we were all wondering, like, what is going on with him? And what happened was we found out that later on is that he needed detoxing tr so bad that he that the body is trying to do it all at one time. So we say, OK, um, I, I talk with him and I said, let's take this patch off. Let's wait about an hour and, and, and rest for an hour, put the patch on again and rest for another hour, take the patch off and so forth until he could do for one whole day. And remember the patches are so great. The technology is so incredible. When you have a patch on, when you take it off, guess what? It's deactivated. Keep it away from your body, at least three inches, and it's not activated. And it can last for the remainder period of time. Now, I hope that everybody understood that. If you have any questions, raise your hand, and I'll, I'll get to your questions when we finish the presentation. Um, then we continue the second day, right? So what, what, up, what happens on the second day, the second night? Second day, you're going to repeat all this, but let me let me clear all the drawings. So the second day, you're going to repeat all this again, right? All of it. And then you're going to start your second day. So is that a lot of patches? Yes, it is. But somebody that is chronic, somebody that it, that has just done chemo or had been through surgery, trust me, they're going to need this amount of patches and so you're done with that and then you go to the third day you use all of them again and then you use the third night right what's happening here guys on the uh, on uh what's really cool to know about this technology is when you do eon like this you're doing a, a brain protocol you're doing an eon one once a day you're doing this one on the on your uh on your third eye you're doing this one on the very top of your head. And how do you get that there? Uh, I heard it from a doctor is you put your fingers in your ears like this, kind of like uh -huh, making fun of people. And then you you bring up your fingers and where they meet, that is that point right there, that GV20, 
it's that top of your head right there. And that's where you put that. And you say, well, I don't want to pull my hair. I'm glad you asked. You put a bandana. I don't have a bandana. Put a hat. I don't have a hat. Get a bobby pin and put it on, but make sure that it's a plastic one, not a, not a, a metal bobby pin. Put it on your head. Go to sleep. Don't peel it so that it doesn't, uh, doesn't you know, pull your hair. But this patches in the, in, the, in the morning when you take a shower, water, uh, being applied water on it, it comes right off. So you do that and we're done at the fifth day. And this, this protocol is incredibly strong. And I want you guys to know that um, it can be used for anybody and they get great results, right? So now we're going to move to our step two. In our step two, we have what we call a cellular regeneration protocol, okay? What this protocol is, is um, something that we use for people that are not necessarily chronic, right? So, so does that mean, can you skip step two, step one? It's going to be your call, right? Um, find that from your client. Talk to them. Um, before you put a patch, don't just start patching people. You know, I've seen people like put five different patches all at once and say, okay, how do you feel? It's not like that. Take your time. Uh, talk to them. Try to find out. Most people love to talk, right? So uh, trying to find out what's happening with them. How do they, you know, how do they get to this point? Um, I, I, I talked to a gentleman um, that his son has um, issues with his ear. And I said, how long has he had this issues? 10, 15 years. So right there, we're, we're saying, um, what's, what's going on with you? Asking them questions, leading them so that they can know, hey, um, this guy really cares. This person really cares about me and my well-being and by asking them questions and they love telling you, right? Now you might have people that are very shy that don't want to tell you, but you need to draw it out of them. Like what's the reason for your uh, wanting to take care of your health right now? Simple questions like that. And that will lead them to open up so that they can tell you what's going on. Now, step two, you have five days, right? And I'm going to get a spotlight right here. We have five days in which we can um, do this protocol. And we do in day one, we are going to do, actually, I'm going to draw. And day one, we're going to, we're going to do, you see this little check mark right here? Oh, that's a horrible check mark. Hold on. Let me come back and delete that. I do have a check mark. I got it right here. Okay. So um, this day, we're going to do this protocol. X39 in the back of your neck. X49, three inches from your belly. SP6. And I like to call the colors, right? The SP6 is the green one. We're going to do a four, four finger width from your ankle. And wherever you touch it, Right there, it should be a little sore. And that's how you know you got that spot. So you put it right there. Now, is it very important to hit that spot right on? No. The technology has a three inch circumference or radius. So if you're three inches away from that spot, you'll still be able to get the benefit. So don't worry about it too much. It's as long as you get within the vicinity of it. The glutathione, which is the yellow one, you're going to put two inches away from your belly. Now, this is three inches, X39. This is two inches, right? I see my wife, my beautiful wife puts on uh, the, the patches and she has different protocols for different things and, and, and different things that she's trying to do with her body. And it, it's lovely to see this little patches all over the body. You know, they're, to me, they're like, a, they're like a tokens, right? They're like uh, ribbons and stickers that the teachers used to give us when we were in kindergarten. I love it. Um, make sure that you drink, like Vicky just said, thank you, honey, for all your, um, your notes are really helpful for me. Drink a lot of water, okay? Um, hydration is essential. Just like we did it on, in step one, Hydration is just as essential in step two. Um, why? This is so important. If our body, uh, we're 
I, I believe that we're 70. I, I heard somebody says that we have 70% uh, of water or 30% of water, I'm not sure the number, but we have a lot of water in our body. So our body system, the way that the body communicates itself with different organs, different parts of the body is through electrical messages. Our, our bodies are so incredibly made. It's so wonderful to know this. Like the more and more I learn about this, it's like, I want to become a doctor because I want to know more about it, right? Uh, that boat already sails. So I'm, I am who I am and I'm, I'm happy with how God made me, but kudos to you doctors because you, you guys have incredible minds. Um, the reason why we need water is because water is a great conductor of energy. We're supplying energy to the body. Most pills, most, uh, they call modalities, don't use water. Or most things that we use for the bot for to get our bodies better, they don't use water, right? That's just, they don't. Except when you're drinking some pills, you they take some water with it, right? Just to run it down. But it's not necessarily for energy. Only energy uses water. And energy is so important to be able to get it through the body so that we can um, do a, a favor to those people. And, and Brother Dave said, we're 55 to 78% water. That's a lot of water, you know? And for people that are dehydrated, why they always get headaches and all that is because they don't drink enough water. Um, when I first met Lorenzo, he said, I had a big bottle of water. And he says, um, before you put the patches, I want you to drink water. And I said, oh, I'm good. I, I, I drank a whole bottle of water already. He said, okay. I went to put the patch on and I started getting dizzy. I felt like my, somebody was grabbing my head and shaking it. And he goes, what's, go, what's going on, Ed? See, he, we, we have to be very uh, perceive things, right? We have to be perceptive so that we can find out what's going on with a person. Because if we see them, you know, shaking their head or something, then you know something's going on. Then you can come in and say, this is what's happening with you. And he told me, he says, you're dehydrated, buddy. And I'm like, I am? I said, but I just drank a whole bottle of water. He goes, can you drink it in front of me now? I said, absolutely, sir. And I drank it and immediately that dizziness went away. So um, you might have some customers that take the patch or you might sell or, or share a patch with somebody and they take it home and they put it on. They don't know what they're doing. Trust me, we have to dummy proof this, right? You, you have to when you get these patches and, and uh, Mary and I, Karen, my mom, we do this all the time. We do Zooms with people. We don't send them the directions how to put the patches. Why? Because people think that they know what they're doing with this. Oh, I got a pain in my arm, so I'm going to put the E on right there. No, it doesn't work that way. You know, there are seven different meridians, six or seven meridians in the back of your neck. And so we put the E on there for a reason, right? So uh, we move on. You put um, the X39 in the back here, X49 on your belly. We do the SP6 right there on your ankle, uh, right there two inches from your belly. The energy enhancer, this is a tricky one. For both set, those people that first come in, they're like, I have a whole bunch of energy enhancers in white. What's happening? Well, you didn't use the tan ones or you didn't use the other one, vice versa. If, you, if you're left over with a whole bunch of patches that are a different color is because you didn't use them correctly. We have to use a red one uh, or a tan one on our left and the white one on our right foot, right? And the same goes on for the rest of the days. Then we do, at, we take all these off and then we do the, um, let me delete them so that we have them. And then we do the Eon, on the third eye, very similar to the severe symptoms protocol. Actually, it's the same one. Um, then we do silent night on the bottom of your foot, on the right, not, I'm sorry, on the top of your right foot and the carnosine right in the center. So we do all this at night. We had all these taken off. Then we have these to put on at night. The following day, guess what I'm gonna do? The following day, you should have a, a, a little check here already. And so you can check the, the next day, you're going to check this one. That's why we have this three little spots, right? So you again. know that in here, uh, we, we're starting this day and you don't get confused, right? So if you don't put a mark on it, you won't know. You can put a pencil, pen, whatever it is. Every time we do the cellular regeneration, we should have this printed out. And there is a website where you can buy your own and you can get 
uh, QR code on it so that you can um, you can share with people and they can go directly to your website. So we do this uh, the following day, the second day. We put the uh, X39 on your belly and the uh, X49 on the back of your neck. So you kind of like switching back and forth with these two throughout the week. Um, then we do SB6 on the left of your foot, about four inches from your knee. Then we do glutathione there, uh, energy enhancer on, on both hands, the tan one on the left and the white one. So the tan one, if you look at this picture, it shows this, right? So the tan one should be on the bottom, on the um, two inches away from your, from your hand. Um, I'm sorry, two to three fingers away from your hand. And that's going to be on your left side. Then you flip the right hand is on the top, right? Some people like to put it, Vicky likes to put it here and here. It really doesn't matter. The What the this is calling is to put it in the back of it, but it's okay. You know, we could do it that way. Um, we're going to close soon. So um, let's move on. The rest of the day, the rest of the week, we, we keep checking one. The, it, once we do this for three, uh, for five days, you're done with this five days. Don't stop during the weekend. Initially, we we were telling people to stop during Saturday and Sundays. I was uh, corrected by Lorenzo. And he said, don't stop because we don't want the body to restart again. You just continue the next day. And then you continue the day one becomes your day six or your day six actually becomes the day one that we're going to use here and so forth. And you repeat all this again, right? So um, I'm going to move. We're, we're almost done guys coming down from a landing and um this is step three which is your uh demonstration guide it's you could put it at, at, as one we have step one and two and this could be your step three but for demonstration purposes i like to use this initially before i before i even put the the cellular regeneration or the severe symptoms protocol why we like to use this is because this gets people to get used to the energy um when i first initially put the patches on i put all of them at the same time and guess what my body says mm -mm, i don't like it i started getting groggy and just i felt weird and it, i wasn't ready for it so um we need to start people and to do this uh, one time, uh, you know, we do ask them, what is your pain level? Uh, one to 10, very important to ask them. And you may, you might want to skip this and you might, you also might want to skip it, drink another water. You don't want to do that. Um, why? Again, this is part of a protocol. This is part of directions. Doctors tell you directions and things to do. Um, you also need to have when you talk to your client or the people that you're helping, you also want to tell them that you want them to follow your directions, okay? Because you're the expert. Guess what? If you just came in the business, nobody knows that you don't know, right? So help them through it. And you have this guides that can help you through it. Ask them, what's your pain level? One to 10. You're going to say, before you start, we're going to ask you to drink two glasses of water right in front of me. High quality water. You get them to drink water. You put EN in the back of their neck right? Which is the blue one. And you tell them most people's pain, 50% of them are diminished by this time, right? So you wait 15 to 10, 10 to 15 seconds. Don't rush to do step two right, right away. Take your time asking them. How, and, and you don't say, is your pain gone? No, you ask them, has your pain diminished? You were a 10. Re always remind them where they were and try to remember. If you can remember, write it down. You said you were a 10. What is your pain level now? And some people might not want to give you a number, but I urge you to tell them to give you a number. Why? It's so important because when you're done with this one, two, three steps, right? And most of the times I'll go to one step one. When I'm, when I'm in step two, I ask them to, to, um, to get ready. If, if they're willing and able to pay you for more of it, then you, you're willing and able to help them right? So their pain level might have gone to five. So you demonstrated them. That's why it's called demonstration guy. You demonstrated them that this technology works for them. So now they can, they'll be able to say, okay, yeah, I can pay you for the, their $5 a patch. Okay, we're good to go. And then you move to step two. Now, step two, we do the um, 
the clock protocol, and we all know, are very familiar with it. If not, uh, raise your hand and we can uh, go through that and I can help you with that. Step three, I really don't go there un unless they're willing to pay for it. Okay, so that's step three. And um, lastly, it's a video. We're going to watch this little video. It's only a few minutes long. Um, and then we're going to be done. And let me share my sound. Let me know if you guys hear the sound. Hi, everybody. Now we're going to be talking about one of my favorite patches, which is we can hear. Eon. And if you're like me and you like to have less stress in your daily life, then you want to use the LifeWave Eon patch. Now, where do most people carry their stress? It's going to be in their neck and shoulders. And that's exactly one of the places where you can use the Eon patch, and it's really easy to find. You're simply going to tilt your head forward, and this bone which protrudes at the back of the neck is where you apply the Eon patch. This is known as the C7 vertebrae the LifeWave Eon patch, it's gonna do a great job at reducing stress in your daily life. First, we wanted to know where the pain was. It's very important that you have the person point to where the pain is so you get the point exactly correct. This is gonna be the clock method that we're going to use and you apply the tan patch directly on top of the pain and you start with the white patch above it. After you apply the patches, you don't need to wait very long, maybe just a few seconds, and then you go back and you ask the person, has there been any change in the level of pain? It's called the clock method or the cross method because we're simply going to be moving that white patch around the area of pain, and we're going to move the white patch around the tan patch. So think of the tan patch as being the center of the clock, and now the white patch is at the three o'clock position. We started at the 12, and now it's at three o'clock. Has there been any change? So let's move the patches one more time, and now we're gonna go to the six o'clock position, and that's putting the white patch just below the tan one. Has there been any change? You can easily apply the patches to the top of the clothing and expect to get pain relief. But of course, if you're using Ice Wave by yourself, apply the patches directly to the skin, unless of course you're allergic to the adhesive and then you would apply it on top of the clothing. But that's a very simple and easy way to use the Ice Wave patches for pain relief using the clock method. So that is pretty much all guys. I'm gonna ask you to unmute yourself. Um, I want you to know before uh, we start asking questions and answering questions that this system is not used all over the, the whole organization. This system has been proven, has been given to us. If you ask any person um, in that you may know from a different group, uh, they're not necessarily using this. Okay, This is unique for us doesn't mean that they can't use it because this is going to be on YouTube and everybody's going to be able to see it. It's okay with us, um, but it works. And I want you to know and, and be confident on it, that it works. Um, do we use X39? Absolutely. You, you know, uh, some people, when you talk, when you say stem cells, those two words are magical. They're like, I know that. I don't know about glutathione. I don't know about Eon or all the stuff that you're talking about, but I know about stem cells. So do we use that? Absolutely, because that's our flagship, uh, our, our flag um, cornerstone uh, patch that we need that, that we need to sell. But this, what this does is it's very simple. Then once we get them to do the, the severe symptom protocol, if they were uh, severe and the re cellular regeneration protocol, then we put them on the maintenance and the maintenance always, always, always uses X39, okay? So you can use X39 in EI, you can use X39 in glutathione, you can use X39 in SP6, always combine it with another patch. And I'm, I guarantee you guys, you're gonna have great results. So thank you uh, for being so patient with, uh, with me at this uh, training. 
Uh, next week, we're going to do um, a, a different training. We're going to be uh, with Lorenzo um, doing a presentation, a live presentation that hopefully we're going to be able to record and have you guys um, to be a part of it. So if you have any questions, I'm done talking. Uh, please um, unmute yourself. I'm going to stop sharing and so that we can unmute yourself and you can ask any questions. And hopefully, if I don't have an answer, um, we have very learned uh, leaders and the call that will be able to answer it for you. Okay, Ed. Yes, Jim. Great. All right. So, uh, you know, I have my conviction from personal experience of this, but, you know, if I want to build on, on that conviction, uh, you said it's proven. So can you go into a little more detail how it is proven? Okay, um, how you prove something like this, um, a lot of times people say, especially doctors, they don't want to hear, and, and the word that they use is a, a very eloquent word, they, they call it anecdotal, right? What does anecdotal data mean? Anecdotal data means something that I've tried, something that my wife tried, something that my dog tried, and it's not proven scientifically, right? So let me share with you in our website, how our technology has been proven. So you go to our website. Hold up, Ed. I'm sorry, Ed. I didn't clarify this very well. Sure. I'm talking about these protocols now. I know that, I know there's plenty of science behind the patches. Okay. And, and certainly you can jump to the, well, I just, I'm trying to say what, what, what the particular protocols that we're doing, how is that proven? How, how did that come to be? Okay. Um, okay. So I'm glad that you uh, clarify your question. The, the protocols that we've been using were created by, um, by uh, Brother Lorenzo and a group of doctors that he had put together that uh, had brought all these technologies and all these different protocols, especially, for instance, let's use the, the one for Eon. The Eon protocol is a brain protocol right, our brain balancing protocol. Uh, you may uh, hear of uh, doctors in LifeWave that use a similar protocol that with, than that. It's because they're all getting the same information from doctors that have used it before, okay? So now we have doctors that are in our network and our team that are using this protocols each and every day of their lives and in their clinics. So that's how I can say it has been proven. I, you can say, well, that's anecdotal. That's not uh, a clinical study. That's where you go to the clinical studies uh, website where I was trying to share with you also, because that would be clinical study. What we tell you is anecdotal, but it's been proven by doctors that are using this technology. And more importantly, it's been proven by me, by my lovely wife, by Dave, by my mom. My mom, if you have time, mom, you got to share with us the testimony that happened with you and Kim uh, a couple of nights ago with Mr. Charles, because I tell you what, she was crying and she was telling me that she was crying and I started getting teary eye. Why? because we see a change from somebody right away with our technology. And it's beautiful to see that. So I see, Vicki, you have a question. Let me ask you. Um, and that was the sciatica protocol that you used, correct? Yes. Okay. So, and then, and it was successful? Very successful. Okay. Uh, incredibly successful. That um, the, the guy, uh, and I don't want to steal from my mom. I want her to, to share because she's the one that patched them. Her and Kim patched them. But yeah, that was the, the sciatica. And sciatica could be very, very incredibly okay. difficult to do for us. But if we have the knowledge, we have a protocol that we can use. Um, but what I told him, even before the sciatica protocol, guess what I told him? The one, two, three. Uh, you Why? Know, Why? Just go ahead, mom. No, uh, what I'm going to say is I've been in a company almost a more over a year. And I never see, I always pass them and I say they're happy or whatever, you know. And, but I never see this person another day in the King House who were passing him so happy. And his wife was actually, she was crying because he said, I haven't seen my husband for over a year. 
with a smile. When this lady saw this guy stand up and, and she was with the eye like that, I said, oh my God, he stood up so quickly and he feels so good. I haven't seen a smile, the beautiful face and smile. And he started to hug him and say, oh, oh, be careful, be careful, I just stood up. <laughs> but it was unbelievable. And this guy, he had a step, like a probably 10 or, or 12 steep go down when they when they left the porch. This guy didn't even touch the, the real oh, really? all that. Wow. He was chopping his hand to a step. I oh, said, my God, what's going on? <laughs> and he said, we missed this video. But we miss it because we shot with this guy. We were so happy. It's shot. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Well, we do we have in our hand. Unbelievable. But see, beautiful. the reason also, Jim, that I was telling you ha hasn't been proven, nobody can tell my mom that this technology cannot, does not work, right? Nobody can, nobody's going to be able to tell you. Once you experience somebody that does a patching like that, so wonderful, not all patches are going to be as, as, as dramatic as that. But when it does, man, it really brings conviction to your heart that you can help so many people. It's you know? unbelievable. In fact, I could sleep in this evening because thinking about, oh my God, I never see a person like that because he, well, I didn't see him when he came to the house, to uh, the port, uh, to King House, I, the, he was sitting down already in the port. And, but yes, I saw him, he was doing like that, he was doing like that, he was miserable. And I wow. asked him, one, two, ten, what did you pay? And he said to me, over 12, 13, or 40, 15. Wow. I said, oh my God. And his wife started a little tear. Said, "Yeah, my husband is in very bad shape." So hopefully, we're going to be able to get him to uh, to do a um, a testimonial next time. So, Vicky, um, let yes. me finish with Vicky. You still have your hand raised. Yes, I just wanted to um, clarify because step one, you started off with the um, severe symptom protocol. Mm -hmm. So um, I just want to um, make this clarified for everybody on the team. That's where we're going to start is step one. We're going to put the five energies on everybody, on, on every person that we are demoing patches for. Or are we going to start with um, the Eon like we've been doing? Because that's, you know, something that is doable. Not everybody may have a whole um, pack of energy enhancers to be able to do something like that. Plus every case is not the same. Um, so I just wanna make sure that we're doing this correctly and we're all in sync. Um, but I always thought it was the EN on the back of the neck and then you go to the ice wave from there. Um, or if it's like a case where someone has like severe pain, you know, they have health issues, would that be something that where we would start with the severe symptom protocol? Can you just um, clarify that first? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you asked it because there's a couple one, two, threes, right? We have right. step one and two, which is the severe symptoms and the cellular regeneration, but um, this is step one, two, and three, okay? okay? So maybe instead of calling it uh, step one and two, maybe we should give it like uh, severe symptoms. We could be, I don't know. You guys help me out here. We'll um, brainstorm. Huh? We can brainstorm. Okay, we can brainstorm. We can call instead of calling it one, two, because it can be contradicting and kind of confusing, and we yes. don't want that, right? Okay. So, okay. yes, this is the this is the one, two, three. Okay, perfect. From the triple D, this is the one, two, three. Okay. This is where we want to start. I think initially when we meet with someone, we're going to actually start with this. We're not, you know, oh, I'm chronic. Oh, well, you need to do five right. energy enhancers. Correct. Do this first. See where let see what level that person goes to and then at that point if that if that person's saying well no it didn't help me at all you know what we need to go a different route we need to go with the severe protocol right and then correct. you go from there correct absolutely i think that's a that, that's brilliant and that's the way that we want to use it right the triple d is part of our uh, developing um demonstrating and duplicating that's for our business for our benefit for ourselves and the one, two, three benefits others, right? right? 
and we start with the demonstration uh, guide and then we move on from there. Uh, great question. Thank you, David, for clarifying that. Appreciate that. All um, right. I have a question. Um, yes. Who's talking? Mary. Oh, Mary. Mary. Hi, Mary. I was able to jump on um, after the funeral. So okay. um, anyway, the you know, the other day I, I, I sold the gold package to Terry. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned to do the severe. So after I ordered the gold package um, with the two energies, I also included the X49. So, but there wasn't enough, it's not gonna be enough patches. So are you, when you're doing this severe and then the 15 day protocol, are you guys doing it without the X49? Cause I didn't know that. Yeah, that's a great answer. That's a great, great question, Mary. And thank you for asking that. Um, we are, when we do both the severe and the um, re cellular regeneration protocol, we do one or two things. We can tell them that they have to add one more patch or we can tell them to take, depending on their finances, right? Some people might not be able to afford another couple of extra patches. So right. we tell them, to remove the X49, okay? And then not the X39, the X39, it's not even a question about it. We're gonna keep the X39, but the X49, they can remove it and it gives them two extra patches, which they can buy the two extra energy enhancers that they'll need to do both protocols. So yeah, keep that in mind. And that's a really good question. Hopefully uh, that answers your question. Yeah, right. Because what I wound up doing is after we were, um, after I purchased the, pro you know, we did the uh, gold package, um, she started adding it up and she goes, Mary, I don't think I'm going to have enough um, energies. Right. And I said to her, wait a minute. So we started adding it up and I'm like, gosh, you're right. So that was when I, I think I text you and you said, yeah, you weren't supposed to do the X49, which like I said, we already finished it. Right. So luckily with Terry, finances weren't a problem she's not she didn't have a problem with it and she told me next week she's going to order you know the extra there you go. There you energy go. so that's awesome i was able to walk around that one but anyway that's why i just i just didn't realize that we can't put the x49 right but that. it's okay so. but but you were quick to the draw and and you gave her a great answer so that's awesome so right. um any other quick question guys because we're going to come to an end and and i'll stop the recording uh when we finish asking questions and we can stay on the call if you guys want to keep asking questions but any other questions no all right so we're going to stop